Hi guys, welcome to Making It Metal. Today I'm making a stainless steel butterfly. Okay, to begin with, I took a piece of paper and sketched on the rough outline of the wing pattern I wanted. I then took this paper, folded it in half, and took a pair of scissors and cut out the shapes. Once I was happy with the shapes, I took them and I drew them out onto a piece of 1.2 stainless steel. You'll notice I marked this with the edge of the sheet so not to waste too much material. It's only an off cut but it's always good to save material. I just use a sharpie to do this. And I took an angle grinder with a cutting disc and I cut the rough shapes out of the steel. I then trim back to the line with the cutting disc. I found it was much easier to hold this with a pair of mole grips. You could of course use a plasma cutter or a bandsaw for this process if you had one, which I don't, so I may do with the cutting disc. Works just as well, but it just takes a bit more time. I then sanded back to the lines with a sanding disc. Once I was happy with this shape, I then sanded both the front and the back side of the wings just to give it a nice finish. You could brush this in if you wanted to, I just found just a, a nice finish with the sanding is all it really needs. I then went over, just hit the edges a little bit with a bit of scotch bright. This helps just to take the burrs off and just gives it a nice flat satin finish. I then used a block to bend the wings. You'll notice that I put some masking tape on the block to avoid any contamination. I then took a piece of 6mm bar and marked up for the body. You'll notice I'm offering it up to the wings as well to get the right length. I then rounded over the end of the bar to create the head and then use the edge of the sander to create ridges. The length of the body obviously depends on the size of the butterfly that you're making, but this is completely up to you. The dimensions of the butterfly I'm making here are 110mm by 75mm, but you could make your butterfly any size you choose. I then tapered the edge of the bar, so it tapers down, the body tape tapers to a nice point. And when I was happy with that, I just snapped it off. And give it a rub with a bit of scotch bread. Another check. And once you're happy with that, then I just tacked the top half of the wings in place. Now I find it easier to go over with a bit of scotch bright as you put this together. It's a little bit easier to keep it clean. I used a pair of C clamps as you can see there, just to hold that in place. Because it does get quite hot if you're trying to hold it with your hand. Then just check for the position of the bottom half of the wings and same again. 
Don't want to overlap it with that position. I don't think it's got to attack on there. Once I was sure I was happy with the position of the bottom wings, I then turned it over and added a little bit more weld. I then added a support to the butterfly so it could be pushed into the ground. For this I used a 3mm rod that was around 500mm long. Next I made the antennas, for this I used 1mm filler rod. I took my Leatherman tool and curled over the end of the wire and then trim this to length. To hold these in position, I added a small amount of weld to the back of the butterfly. I then held them up to it, warming the tack up just enough to fuse them into position. Then I gave it one last clean up with the scotch brite to finish it off. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.